we can use SQL Server Profiler to monitor queries to discover whether or not aggregations are being used. To set up a new trace, we go to the File menu, select New Trace, connect to our Analysis Services server. I'm just connecting to the local server here. We can give the trace a name, and then we can go to the Events selection. Now we want to show all events, and there are a couple in particular that we want to add. First, we want Get Data from Aggregation. That way we can see whether or not aggregations are being used. And number two, if aggregations are not being used, we need the Query Subcube Verbose event so that we can see what data the storage engine is returning so that we can determine what granularity of aggregations we should be designing. So I'm going to start this trace, and then I'm going to execute a couple of queries. Here in Management Studio, I've connected to Analysis Services, and I've opened up this query. And notice that I have connected to the database for this module. Now I have two queries in the Query pane here. One is retrieving just category, and the other is retrieving subcategories as well as quarters for a particular year. Now I can run two queries at the same time as long as I have the word go between them. So I'll execute this. We get two separate result sets, and we can scroll down and see the results that we get. Now let's go back to Profiler and stop the trace. If we scroll up, we'll notice that we can identify each query with a query begin event, and it shows us the text of the query so that we can be sure which query we're looking at. And we can see that for the first query, there was actually an aggregation. And we can see that it was aggregation 0 that was used to answer this query. Then we see a bunch of zeros and ones, and this represents the dimensions as well as the attributes. But unless we know the exact sequence of dimensions and attributes, this information is not very helpful to us. Fortunately, we don't need this information in this case because the aggregation exists and the query seems to be performing adequately. We can look at the subcube event, for example, and each subcube event has a duration associated with it, and as long as that's below 500 milliseconds, we know that that's okay. Now the next query shows up here query begin, and we notice that we can go from query begin to query end, and there is no get data from aggregation event. Now this particular query doesn't take very long either, only taking 102 milliseconds, because of the AdventureWorks database is small. But in a real world scenario, you will likely find plenty of queries that will take over 500 milliseconds. So you're looking for the query subcube verbose which is a companion to the query subcube event, and it basically gives us in words what the subcube event is giving us in numbers. So we're looking for those attributes where we see a non-zero value. So this tells us that Analysis Services is retrieving all of the dimension members for that particular attribute. These would become candidates for aggregations subcategory and category are part of the same hierarchy, so I really only need to add the lower level attribute, in this case subcategory, or for the date dimension, I would only need to add quarter. So let's go back to our cube design, and we can go to our reseller sales partition here, because that was the partition we were using in our query, reseller sales and we can go to the advanced view where we can review the existing aggregation design and of course we don't see anything that includes subcategory in addition to quarter 
So we want to add in our own aggregation. So we'll select New Aggregation here. If you wanted to create a completely different aggregation design, you could do so here by clicking the New Aggregation Design button, and it would create an empty one or copy an existing aggregation design and let you make the modifications from there. In this case, we'll just go ahead and modify the existing aggregation, and we'll add a new one, and it adds it as a zero. So all of the other aggregation numbers have been incremented by one. Recall from our query subcube verbose event, we decided that subcategory as well as quarter would suffice, and then we would redeploy the change. Now before we retest the queries, let's go to Management Studio, and we need to execute a clear cache command against the database ID to clear out any cache. Remember from our query processing architecture that if any data exists in the cache, then that's what Analysis Services is going to use first. So in order to test aggregations, we need to clear the cache, and that way the next place that Analysis Services will look will be in aggregations. So we'll go to Profiler, let's clear this, and start it again. And then back to Management Studio, where we will execute our queries. But this time, I'm just going to execute the query where we added the aggregation. Let's stop the trace. And this time, we can see that indeed the get data from aggregation was successful this time using the aggregation that we added. But notice that it doesn't have a name for that aggregation that we added manually.